Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company. We're back in the kitchen, so it can only mean one thing. I'm going to do some more cooking. Um, the cake that I cooked the last time was a huge success, and so I thought I'd follow that up with another cake. And this time I've managed to get a different style of cake tin. And uh, this one looks more fun, and I hope you'll agree that um, the end results are well worth it. I was trying to come up with some kind of catchy logo for my kitchen antics, something like Stuart's Kitchen or Cooking with Honey, um, but I couldn't really think of anything, a bit like the Getting Started in Beekeeping or the Beekeeping Basics playlists that we have. I wanted something that was going to be quite catchy. Um, so if you can think of anything, Stuart's Honey Kitchen or something, that would be great and I'll try and produce lots more cooking videos as we get along into the new season. So on to today's video. Firstly, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. We've got a great back catalogue of videos and we're just about to start the new beekeeping season and there's going to be lots of really interesting videos to share with you, uh, both in the kitchen, some more cooking, but also lots of beekeeping videos and I hope you'll join me for those. If I could just point out our Patreon page where you guys are very kindly starting to support me in producing these videos. If I could persuade you to just pop along and take a look I'd be very grateful. That's patreon.com forward slash Norfolk Honey. It's helping me to produce lots more videos and concentrate on the video production as we get into the new beekeeping season. And my thanks to all of you that have already started to support me in my endeavours. So on to today's cake. Um, let me show you the cake tin first. It's really quite interesting. It's another one of the Nordic Ware cake tins and it's a beehive. And it's got two cakes. So we're gonna make two single cakes and then we're gonna cement them together with some buttercream. And uh, it looks like we might have to do some drawing on the outside of the, the cake as well, a bit of, a bit of modelling or something. Um, so I'm quite excited about this one and tonight we've got our local beekeeping group meeting and I'm going to take the cake along tonight and let everybody try a piece. So that's the cake tin. I've already got all the ingredients out. Last time I weighed all the ingredients out but I've already sorted the ingredients this time. I'm sure you don't want to sit around watching me weigh out flour and sugar. So I'll bring the camera down onto the worktop and show you the ingredients. I'll post all of the ingredients list and the recipes down in the description below and I'll also put a link to the cake pan. Uh, those of you that have already purchased the previous honeycomb cake pan and used the affiliate links below, thank you very much. I do get a small commission for anyone that purchases any of the products that I put in the description that are affiliate links and it all helps me in producing more of these videos. So again, thank you very much for that. So let's go down onto the worktop and just check out what we've got ready to be mixed. Okay, so in no particular order, here we've got flour. The recipe just said flour, so I've used plain flour. Uh, vanilla extract, this is caster sugar. Uh, here's my honey, so we're going to use some of the honey. Salt, baking powder, butter, four eggs, some milk and lemon juice. And that's it. A couple of final things before we start making the cake. Um, I've greased the cake tin and put some flour in it so that that's all floured and ready to take the batter so that it doesn't stick. Um, obviously first thing I did was to wash my hands and the next thing I'm going to do is pop on my apron because I do tend to make a bit of a mess when I get in the kitchen and um, once I've got this on we'll start mixing up the batter. Okay, so in here we've got the butter, sugar, honey and eggs. They've all been mixed together. It would have helped if I'd pressed the record button on the camera while I was doing it. But anyway, I was concentrating on making the cake and all I'm doing is mixing it. So that's all been mixed together. And next we're going to add the dry ingredients and the milk and then finally the lemon juice. First we have to add about half a teaspoon of vanilla that smells really nice I'm just going to incorporate that 
And then we've got the baking powder which can go in with the flour. And the salt which can also go in with the flour. And then we're going to add this, I think I'll probably add half to start with and then the rest can go in once it's been mixed a little bit. Always remembering to scrape down the sides. These are my little honeybee cups. So we add the milk in. And again, we just scrape down the edge. get all of the flour in and it's looking like a really good cake batter now and then finally we've got two tablespoons of lemon juice okay so that's the cake batter mixed and that's now ready to go into our prepared tin so here's our cake tin which has been greased and floured and I just literally used a brush to put some clarified butter in and then put some sieved flour in and then tapped out the excess. And now we're going to try to put half of this mixture into each of these tins. And what I did last time that was quite effective was to just give it a little bit of a shake to get any air bubbles that were trapped in the bottom out. And I think that that is ready to go into the oven. So it cooks for around 50 to 60 minutes. And while the cake's cooking, and for all you doubters, it's time to do the washing up. Almost done. So that didn't take long. So the cake's almost ready to come out of the oven and uh, what I'm going to do now is to make the buttercream which is going to sandwich the two cakes together. So in here we've got icing sugar or powdered sugar and butter and we're going to add a little bit of vanilla extract and some milk and turn it into a nice cream to sandwich the two parts of the cake together. But before we do that, the cake is actually cooked, so I've just taken it out of the oven. So I thought I'd just show you the cake straight out of the oven. Looks really good. I've inserted a skewer to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. And now we just wait for that to cool down and then we can turn it out of the tin. So that's the buttercream completed. We're going to use that to cement the two halves of the hive together and then we'll decorate the outside of the cake. But we need to leave the cake now so that it is completely cool because if we try and put this in while it's still slightly warm, it's going to melt the butter and then it will just become a runny mess. So what we've got here is a nice sweet buttercream that will hold the two halves of the cake together. We're almost ready to take the cake out of the tin and you can see that it's actually pulled away from the edges quite nicely. So I'm hoping that it's going to turn out really easily, very much like the honeycomb cake that we made before. Okay, so it's the moment of truth. Let's just see if we can move this around. While we've 
had a little bit of a collapse here but otherwise that looks pretty good and you can see the bees on it I'm really pleased with that and the colour looks great so now we have to let this cool down properly and then we can sandwich it together so it's now been a few hours since I took the cake out of the oven and it's cooled down enough now so that we can sandwich it together using the buttercream so I'm going to show you how I do that now and hopefully it will all stick together and we'll be able to look at it on the plate and then finish off the decoration okay so this is the first piece and it did suffer a, um, a slight bit of damage here I'm going to put that down to woodpeckers and then the second piece like so and so they're going to fit together like that with the buttercream icing in between so you can probably see it doesn't quite match up so what I'm going to do is to just take a bread knife and just slice each face of this inside edge and remove a small slice so it will then fit together nicely you can see the sponge looks fantastic so now that it fits together nicely we can just divide it again and very carefully put some buttercream icing on both faces of the inside edge So that's the first one done. Okay, so that's the cake sandwiched together. And the next step is to just make some frosting which will go over the top and trickle down over the cake itself. So for the honey icing we need one and a half cups of powdered sugar, that's icing sugar, one tablespoon of honey and between one and three tablespoons of milk. I guess we need to get the consistency of the icing so that it just kind of drizzles over the top and doesn't run everywhere. So um, I'm going to mix that up now and we'll see what happens. So that's my honey. So we'll start with just a couple of tablespoons of milk so I think that's probably about right I don't think I want it any runnier than that and as it is I think it might be a little on the runny side but we'll give it a try um, the worst that can happen is that it's going to run off the cake and sit in a pool around the edge of the cake so it's not going to go anywhere and we can uh, we can just drizzle this over the top and uh, hopefully it will settle onto the cake and not uh, just run off down the sides so I'm going to try it on a little piece of the off cut cake that I had and just see how it sits on it I think that'll be okay tastes quite nice maybe I should try another piece I think that'll be okay right so let's try and load it onto the cake let's just clean off some of the bits Okay, so here's the finished cake. I managed to find some little coloured icing in the cupboard, so um, I had a few minutes. So I thought I'd just decorate the cake a little bit more. You can make some icing bees to stick on it, but 
I think these look quite sweet. So, so these are all mixed rice bees before anybody asks me whether they're Italians or Canolians or native bees or black bees. And I'm not quite sure what the snow on the top is all about, but it looks really nice and I think it's going to taste fantastic. Okay, so that's the cake finished. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, it's taken pretty much all day to, to make because I had to let the cake cool and then I started fiddling around with the, the bees on the outside. But I think the, um, the guys this evening are going to enjoy this. It's, um, it's my first attempt and uh, I'm really pleased with it again. So if you fancy having a go at making perhaps a slightly different Easter cake, something to celebrate Easter with, then this one might be one to go for. Uh, alternatively, you could use the honeycomb cake from the last video, the last cooking video that, that I produced. Um, but this is going to be eaten tonight at the local bee group meeting. That's the Norwich and District Beekeeping Club. And I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll polish it off, um, particularly Patrick. So that's it for this week. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It would be great to have you along. Don't forget to hit the like button and to share it with your friends on Facebook and other social media outlets. And if you fancy supporting more of these videos, then please visit my Patreon page where you can support these videos from as little as $1 a month. And it all helps me to produce more videos and help more beekeepers through the coming season. So I hope you did enjoy that and we'll catch up next time. Thanks for watching.